Welcome to a High School Rewind Game of the Week. I'm Dusty Litster. Thanks for joining us. Our matchup tonight, the Tippinogos Timberwolves and the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Welcome, everybody. So excited to have you with you. A big Region 8 matchup between these two teams, both fighting for that second seed and a home playoff spot, and then hoping that Timview can stumble down the stretch and hopefully take over a region championship. But both these teams come into tonight 6-1 and one on the year. Their lone setback, those pesky Timview Thunderbirds. But both, obviously, are going to be in the playoffs, fighting for that home playoff spot. Playoffs start at the end of the month. These are big games down the stretch for both of these teams. And let's get into these Get into these teams. For Tip and August, there was a hope coming into this year that they would bounce into exactly what they're doing this year. Max Hill was a three-year starter for this team at running back. He broke his ankle the first week and then was replaced by a – a wide receiver, Jacob Hogard, who never played running back, has stepped in this year, 545 yards on the year. He hurt his ankle last week, will not be available tonight. So they're going to be turning to C.J. Schroepel to run the football. How big of an effect is this going to be on the Timberwolves? We'll have to see. This is a balanced offense. They rely on the running game. So now we'll have a, a running back who's not carried the ball a lot starting tonight and getting the bulk of the carries. So they'll be leaning on number 10, Caden Bramall, the quarterback for the Timberwolves, who has thrown for 545 yards and six touchdowns on the year. He's going to need to step up and have a big night for the Timberwolves. You take a look at the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. It is all about the quarterback, number seven, K.J. Hall. On the year, 696 yards passing and five touchdowns. Then in the running of the football, 704 yards rushing and four TDs. He is the offense for the for Maple Mountain. He's going to have to have a big night tonight against Timpanogos for them to get a win. But remember, Timpanogos down a little bit in the firepower. This should be an outstanding game. Well, you know our players, you know our teams. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff from Tipview High School. You're watching High School Rewind on Xfinity On Demand. And welcome back to Timpanogos High School, the High School Rewind Game of the Week. Dyson Rivers gets into it. A line drive kick will be taken by Maple Mountain around the 32-yard line. Oh, and close line at around the 33. On the return from Maple Mountain, I believe it was number 33, and that would have been Landon Knudsen. Landon Knudsen. First and 10 for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Mentioned at the top, led by K.J. Hall, the senior quarterback, who has combined for over 1,300 yards of total offense on the year. And it'll be a read option. KJ keeps it, bounces it off the left side, gets across the 40, well, near the 40, and then finally brought it down. It'll be a gain of about six yards on the first down carry, and it'll bring up second down and four. Second and four for Maple Mountain. One last week, 42 to seven versus Provo. Plenty of momentum coming into this game. Two receivers near side, one at the top of the screen. Hall going to keep it. Bounces on the right across the 45. Shakes comes across midfield. There's a flag on the play and chased down from behind at the 45 yard line. The tackle from Bailey Misbach. And we'll sort out the flag. Holding penalty against Maple Mountain. Is that the line of scrimmage? She'll be second down and 14, negating the big run from KJ Hall. Running back on each side, flanking Hall. And there'll be a give near side. Looking for a hole. Nice job by the Timberwolf defense stringing out the run. I believe it was Bailey Bates on the carry. Pardon me, it would be Nick Moffey. And that'll bring up third and very long for Maple Mountain. Third and 16 for the Golden Eagles on the opening drive here. Two receivers to each side for Hall. Channing Merrill on the slot near side. Big receiver. Going to be a keep with uh, Hall. Hall is going to slip in one tackle. We'll get past the line of scrimmage. Across the 35, or nearing the 35, bumped out of bounds. I believe they're going to mark him around the 33-yard line. Bring up well shy of the sticks, and out comes the punting unit for the Golden Eagles. First and 10 for the Timberwolves. Empty backfield for Caden Bramall. Looking to throw, Bramma looking to his right, throws to his right. Pass is incomplete, intended for Rivers, and it'll bring up second down and 10. Pass incomplete. Second and 10 for the Timberwolves, gonna stay in empty backfield. Near side receiver is Trey Sestabon. Back to pass, Bramall fires near side, a ball was tipped and it was complete off the tip. And on the reception is number 83, Austin Siegmiller, and it'll bring up third down and about 
five for Timpanogos. Third and five for Timpanogos at the catch from Segmiller. Stayed empty backfield on all three plays on this drive. Near side receiver is Jackson Beck. Back to pass. Going to fire to the screen. The pass is complete. Slips one tackle across the 40 yard line. There's a flag on the play, and another one comes flying in late. We'll sort it out. More than likely, it's going to be a holding penalty against Timpanogos. As it is, it is a first down for the Timberwolves, but it could be coming back. Block in the back against Timpanogos. Going to bring up third down and about 16 for the T Wolves. Esteban, near side receiver, back to pass. Bramble's got pressure, and down he goes. On the sack from Maple Mountain. Brings up fourth down. I believe it's number 94. Or believe me, excuse me, 64, Caden Cooney. First and 10, Maple Mountain after the short kick from Timpanogos. Terrific opportunity here for the Golden Eagles. KJ Hall flanked by two running backs. And it'll be a give near side. Moffey puts his foot, keeps going. Moffey strung out. Nice job. Rivers on the tackle. Nice job of the Timberwolves defense of hemming in Moffey. And it'll be a loss on the first down carry. It'll bring up second down. Third down and 13 for Maple Mountain. Cole Casper flanking. K.J. Hall, Merrill, the near side receiver, back to pass Hall. Steps up in the pocket, rolls to his up, pressure comes, and he's stripped, and the ball's loose, it's recovered, I believe by Timonogos, yes it is. Didn't get the number on the strip sack, but it's a big turnover here in this ball game. An opportunity goes by the wayside for Maple Mountain, and it'll be a turnover, and a Timonogos offense will be coming back on the field. First and 10, Timpanogos. Deep back is CJ Schropel. Mentioned that Hogard got hurt. And it'll be a fake reverse. Gonna go deep, got a man down the side. It's Rivers, oh, through his hands. A beautiful play call. Rivers just could not pull it in. It would've been a big catch. But it's incomplete and it brings up second down and 10. Second and 10 after the incomplete pass. And 10 for Rivers. Empty backfield for Bramall. Bring a man of motion, fake the jet sweep, keep it. And he gets near the 40 yard line, he'll be driven back. I believe they'll mark him at the 30, or pardon me, the 39. And it'll bring up third down and five for Timpanogos. Third and five for Timpanogos. Three receivers near side, two to the top of the screen for Bramall. Merrill looking to throw, pressure coming. Merrill steps up, he's got plenty of room to run. Eludes a sack, no he doesn't, down he goes. Sacked again on third down. And on the sack is gonna be number 42 from Maple Mountain. Jake Abbott with the first one, or he'll cleans up the sack and he'll bring out the punting unit for Timpanogos. Jackson Beck to punt it away. Both defenses coming out strong to start this game. Gets it off, pressure comes, down he goes, and out comes the flag. The, but, the, puff, the, mutt is, the punt is muffed, but recovered by Maple Mountain, but it's gonna be a roughing the kicker against Maple Mountain, and Tippinogos will retain possession. First and 10 after the roughing the kicker penalty against Maple Mountain. Big break for Tippinogos. Two backs in the backfield. Back to pass, Bramall. Fires over the middle, intercepted! Threw right to the defender, across the 35 to the 30. Now finally out of bounds at around the 25 yard line. And on the interception for the Golden Eagles is number 41, CJ Hildebrand. Big interception, first and 10, Maple Mountain. First and 10 for the Golden Eagles. After the interception from Hildebrand, Heavy set near side. But a man in motion across the formation in Mortensen. And a running to his left is Hall. Defense is there and brought down to the line of scrimmage. Nice job of the Timpanogos defense. And on the tackle, Ty Day, number 11, 
with the stop. It'll bring up second down and 11 after a loss of one. Second down, 11 for Maple Mountain. Mortensen in motion. And now going to run it up the middle with K.J. Hall. And Hall with a gain of about three on the carry. And he'll bring up third down and eight for Maple Mountain. Third down and eight. Mortensen in motion again. It'll be a give to the near side. Slips one tackle. I'll put that Hildebrand on the carry. And Hildebrand will be shy of the first down marker. And he'll bring up fourth down and one, maybe two, for the Golden Eagles. Second, or fourth down and three from Maple Mountain. Heavy load right side. Hildebrand the deep back. Give it to Hildebrand. Picks his way. He's met at the line of scrimmage. Keeps his feet moving. And on the, if the mark is good, he has the first down. So picking up fourth down and three, they turn around and give it to Hildebrand, who started this drive on the interception, will move the chains for the Golden Eagles. First and 10 after Hildebrand picks up the fourth down conversion. Hildebrand the deep back and the heavy. I formation, those are two big boys in the backfield. They'll give it to Hildebrand on the counter. He slips one tackle and down he goes. Met at the line of scrimmage and brought down on the tackle was, I believe, Jackson, Jackson Beck, and he'll bring up second down 11. Hall will stay under center. Moffey the deep back. Heavy load to the near side. Play action pass. Hall rolls to his right. Receivers are covered. He's going to tuck it. Makes a move at the 10. Cuts inside the five yard line. Still on his feet toward the end zone. And he'll be just shy of the end zone. It'll be a first down for Maple Mountain. First and goal. Golden Eagles. No touchdown. They gave it to him. That was a delayed call. He came walking in on the one-yard line, and the Lions judge gave him the touchdown. 125 remaining in the first quarter. K.J. Hall punches it in the end zone on a scramble, and Maple Mountain takes a 6-0 lead. Out comes Timpanogos after the touchdown from K.J. Hall. 125 remaining here in the first quarter. One receiver near side, two receivers to the far. Bramall play-action pass. He's got a man run down the sideline, and Rivers, he fires to Rivers. Rivers makes a catch along the sideline, out of bounds around midfield. First and 10 to the Timberwolves. He ran right down the sideline, no one near him. A nice completion. First and 10, T-Wolves. First and 10 after the catch from, catch from Rivers. Rivers in the slot near side. It'll be a give up the middle of the Schrobel, and he's going to get back just past the line of scrimmage. A gain of one, and he'll bring up second down and nine. Second down and nine for Timpanogos. Inside of 40 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Near side receiver is Jackson Beck. And it'll be a give on the right side and a hole on the right side. Across the 40 yard and the 35 to the 30. Diving his way toward the 33 yard line. And on the carry for Timpanogos is number 32, Morgan Dickerson. Morgan what a run by Dickerson, his first of the game. And a big run, first and 10, T-Wolves. After the first down carry from Dickerson, First down and 10 will be our final play of the quarter. Bram all going to keep it, or part of me hand it off. Gets drilled around the 25-yard line. A pickup of three. And on the carry was number 34. And that is Tuku Ulav. And that'll do it for the first quarter. After one, Maple Mountain seven. Tippinogas zero. We'll be right back with the second quarter right after this. Welcome back to the beginning of the second quarter. 7-0 the lead at Maple Mountain. Uluave had the last carry. It'll be a give here near side. Dickerson. Dickerson's going to throw it. And it will <laughs> luckily hit the turf. The there were some defenders there, but it falls harmlessly to the turf. And it'll bring up third down and seven. Third down and seven. Esteban, the near side receiver. Rivers in the slot at the top of the screen. Back to pass, Bramall. He's got time. He steps up with pressure. Rolls to his left, fires toward the end zone. He's got a man there, and Hall goes up and makes the catch. What a grab by Jackson Hall. Well caught in the back of the end Touchdown, zone. Timpanogos Jackson. Timberwolves. Back for a Timpanogos. Touchdown. What a grab by Hall. Let's take another look at it. 
I said he didn't have pressure. Well, I was wrong. Steps up, gets away from the pressure, floats it up in the corner of the end zone, and Jackson Hall goes up tall, gets the ball to the highest point, brings it down, taps his feet, and has a touchdown for Timpanogos. First and 10 for Maple Mountain. After the catch from Jackson Beck, said Jackson Hall, is Jackson Beck on the, on the touchdown for Timpanogos. 11.37 remaining here in the second quarter. K.J. Hall has it up the middle. And nice carry. Thought he was stopped around the line of scrimmage. Picks up four. And on the, the carry was number six, and that is Cole Casper. Second down and six for Maple Mountain. Jake Moffey near side. Casper in the backfield alongside K.J. Hall. Hall to throw. He's got some time. Fires the middle. He's got a man there. Makes a grab around the 43-yard line. Gets decked by Beck, but it hangs on to it. And on the reception for Maple Mountain is number 29, Cannon Miner. What a grab by Miner. First and 10, Golden Eagles. First and 10 after the catch. And K.J. Hall. Dives for a gain of six yards. Bring up second down and four. Showing the athleticism there. Second down and 14 after two false start penalties against Maple Mountain. Three receivers near side, one at the top of the screen. Hall rolls to his right. Pressure comes, sets up the screen. Pass is complete. Stays on his feet and his knee did not hit the ground. He'll be dropped around the 48-yard line. And on the catch and run is Casper. And it'll bring up third down and long for Maple Mountain. 8.35 on a running clock. Trips to the top. Isolation receiver near side. Hall will roll to his right. Looks. Pressure comes. Slips one. Gets it off. And wisely throws it away. And it'll bring up fourth down. And the punting unit most likely coming on for Maple Mountain. Maple Mountain to punt it away. Rivers waiting. Or pardon me. Church waiting at around his 15 yard line. Bat snap. And now comes the Timberwolves and bring him down around the 25 yard line. A, ba <coughs> a bad snap. And the Timberwolves take advantage. Pounce on the punter. Didn't even have a chance to get it off. Clawson. First and 10, Timberwolves. First and 10 after the botched punt. Two receivers near side, two to the top of the screen. Bramall will give it to Schroepfel. No, he keeps it. Bramall's got some room around the 25-yard line. Dives toward the 20. Be marked around the 21, maybe 22-yard line. And it'll bring up second down and short for the T-Wolves. Uluave and Dickerson in the backfield alongside Bramall. And the give will be to Dickerson on the right side. Dickerson not able to get away from one. Gets decked. He is close to the first down marker. May have picked it up. And it will be a first down for Timpanogos on the run from Dickerson. Seven minutes remaining on a running clock here in the second quarter. Beck near side receiver. Rivers to the slot with Esteban. And a give will be to Uluwave. Uluwave. And Uluwave picks up one, maybe two on the carry. They bring up second down and eight. Second down and eight for Timpanogos. Beck near side receiver. Back to pass, Bramall's got a man open, it's Beck. Beck makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Timpanogos Timberwolves. Beck's second of the half. And with 6-12 remaining, the Timpanogos Timberwolves take a 13-7 lead. Point after coming up. Beck lines up, good snap, kick on the way. And it is no good, wide to the right. We talk about it every week. There's a missed kick. Those extra points will loom large in a game that seems to be close. 6-12 remaining in the half. 13-7 a lead to Tippinogus. First and 10 for the Timberwolves. Bramall in the shotgun. Two receivers at the top of the screen. One in the near side is Beck. And a little miscommunication. Bramall keeps it. And it'll be a pickup of about four. It'll bring up second down and six for Tippinogus. 3.50 on a running clock remaining here in the half. Two receivers near side. Rivers in the slot. Esteban split to the left. Back to pass. Bramall fires short. 
passes, complete, slips one tackle, slips two, slips the third, has the first down at the 45 yard line. On the reception is number 13, Jackson Dunford. The 6'3", 180 pound sophomore, or pardon me, junior. And it'll be first and 10, Timberwolves. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. Dickerson in the backfield alongside Brammel will be a give to Dickerson. Dickerson gets away from one tackler, gets near the gets near midfield, brought down at around the, they're gonna mark him at the 49 yard line. Be a pickup of four on the carry. And we'll bring up second down and six. Third down and six for Brammel. And the Timberwolves. Beck split to the far side. Gonna go bubble screen, complete to Rivers. Rivers. It's near the first down, still on his feet, and he has the first down. Nice effort by Rivers. Dyson Rivers broke tackle, spun, and dove for the first down. Move the chains for the Timberwolves. Beck to the outside, or to the top of the screen. Rivers in the slot, back to pass. Brammel has pressure coming, and he's going to get away. Looking downfield, doesn't have anybody there. Fires deep downfield to Beck, and overthrows him. What a great job by Brammel, escaping the sack. And just getting it away, it'll bring up second down and 10. Second down and 10 for the Timberwolves. Back to pass, pressure comes, set up the screen. Complete to the back out of the backfield. Breaks one tackle and is brought down. Schroepel on the catch and run on the screen. CJ Schroepel, first and 10, Timberwolves. First and 10, Tippinoga Schroepel. Flings Bramall to the left after motioning. A little miscommunication. Back to pass Bramall. Looking, pressure coming. Gets away from it. And the ball comes out. And it's still loose and recovered by Maple Mountain. That ball rolled for over 10 yards. And recovered by Moffey. And it'll be first and 10. Maple Mountain. Out comes C.J. Hall on the offense. 106 remaining in the half. Second down and 10. Two receivers near side, two to the far side. Jaron Hall, still the quarterback. And it is a give to Casper. K.J. Hall would come back in the quarterback, and it'll bring up third down and long, 55 seconds remaining in the half. Third down and nine for Maple Mountain. Trips formation to the bottom of the screen. Hall to throw. Looks, fires over the middle, and it's complete to Moffey. No incomplete. In and out of his hands. And he'll bring up fourth down. Tim Nogas get the ball back. 49 seconds remaining in the half. Three receivers near side, one at the top of the screen. Bramall rolls to his left, fires, and it's short and tender for Rivers. And he'll bring up second down and long. Trips near side, one at the top of the screen. And it'll be a give, and Schroepel. Has some room across the 45, makes a move inside across the 50, and now finally driven out of bounds. What a run for CJ Schroppel. Schroppel has a big carry, first and 10 inside of Maple Mountain Territory at the 46 yard line. First and 10 at the run from Schroppel. Empty backfield, back to pass Bramall. Bramall rolls to his right is going to run, and is going to get hit from behind and chopped around the sticks. He might have picked up the first down. And it'll be a timeout taken by Timpanogos as he's just shy of the first down marker. 21 seconds remaining in the half. 21 seconds remaining. Back to the near side receiver has two touchdowns here in the first half. Back to pass, pressure comes. Fires on the screen, complete. Schroppel is driven out of bounds as a first down. 15 seconds remaining inside the 30-yard line. And it'll be a first down for Timpanogos, and the clock will stop right there. Beck and Rivers to the top of the screen. Rivers in the slot. Back to pass, Bramble looking to his left. Fires left to Rivers, makes the catch at the 15, is brought down there. The clock stops, and nine seconds remaining. Timpanogos going to come up and try to Pass clock it. Dyson Rivers for Timpanogos. First down. He spikes it with seven seconds remaining. So I have one shot toward the end zone before trying to kick the extra or kick the uh, field goal. 
Seven seconds remaining. Back to pass, Bramel waits, looks, fires towards the end. He's got a wide open receiver and overthrew him. Pressure came, overthrew him. There's a second remaining on the clock. He had him. And a kicking unit will come on to try to add on some points. Out comes Beck for a 30-yard field goal attempt. Right in the middle of the field. Church on to hold. Snap goes through the hands of Church. We picked up by Beck, and Beck goes down. So the end of the half is a botched field goal attempt and one half play in the books. The Timberwolves, Timberwolves lead 13-7 over Maple Mountain. We come back by the third quarter right after this. Timpanogos will open the half with the football. Moved the ball pretty well offensively. He's unable to capitalize a couple opportunities. But now comes Bramel. And a give near side is Strofel. And Strofel, oh, he gets drilled. Absolutely tattooed. Coming up with a hit is Hildebrand, who had the interception earlier. Man, he laid it to him. Second down and six. Second down and six for the Timberwolves. Trips formation to the top of the screen. Beck isolated here near side. Back to pass, Bramel. Sets up the screen. Pass complete to Straubel. Straubel gets drilled again, but he has the first down as he is tattooed by Hildebrand. But it'll be first and ten to the Timberwolves. First and ten, T-Wolves. Esteban split far to the top of the screen. It'll be a give up the middle. Uluave, Uluave near the 40-yard line, has a pickup of five on the carry, and it'll bring up second down and five for Timpanogos. Second down and five, and the give will no, be kept by Bramel, and Bramel will dive forward for a gain of one on the carry. He'll bring up third down and four for Timpanogos. Third down and four for Timpanogos. Rivers and Esteban to the top of the screen. Near side is Beck. Bramel will give it to Uluave. Uluave slips one. No, he does not. He gets drilled. The lead back went through without getting on anybody. And he'll bring up fourth down, and the punting unit will come on for Timpanogos. Uluave shook it up in the play. And he'll bring out the punting unit. 8.45 many here in the third quarter. Out comes Maple Mountain for the first time this half. Moffey Brothers near side. Casper in the shotgun with K.J. Hall. Two receivers at the top of the screen. Hall will give it to Casper with a big hole across midfield and down across the 45-yard line, down to the 43. Big run there by Casper, and it'll be first and 10, part of me at the 44-yard line for the Golden Eagles. First and 10, Maple Mountain, K.J. Hall in the shotgun. Moffy in motion, fake the jet sweep, come near side with K.J. Hall, and Hall is brought down to the line of scrimmage. Terrific job tonight by Dickerson, a linebacking core for Timpanogos. Holding Hall, the minimal gains, second down and nine coming up for Maple Mountain. Second and nine for Maple Mountain. Two receivers to each side. Casper, the deep back, along with Hall. Moffey in motion. Keep with Hall on the left side, and Hall stopped at the line of scrimmage. And bring up third down and nine. Another long third down for Maple Mountain. Third down and nine for Maple Mountain. Seven minutes on a running clock here in the third quarter. Two receivers each side. Casper in the backfield. Back to passes Hall. Pressure comes. Fires to the right, and it's going to be well shy of his intended receiver. And we'll see what Maple Mountain decides to do. And it looks like the punting unit will come on. First and ten for Timpanogos. Lining up in the pistol formation. Trophel behind. Bramall, Bramall fires in and out of the hands of Beck. And it'll bring up second down and 10 after the incomplete pass. Second and 10, two receivers to each side. Schroffel the deep back. And a give will be to Schroffel on the left side. Finds a little bit of an alley and then is finally tracked down. It'll be a gain of about four yards on the carry. It'll bring up third down and six for Timpanogos. Third down and six, trips formation near side. Esteban, the outside receiver, back to throw, pressure coming. Down goes Bramel. Bramel cannot get away, and I believe on the sack Loss of nine on the play. was number 35, pardon me, 22, 
Mike Matias comes in for the sack. First and 10 in Maple Mountain. 4.54 remaining here in the third quarter. Out comes K.J. Hall and the Golden Eagle offense. Give to Casper. Casper stutters toward going to the, the line of scrimmage, and he is buried by a green wave. And I'll bring up second down and 10. Two receivers to each side. Hall been very quiet throughout this game. He does have the lone touchdown for Maple Mountain. He keeps it on the read option and is not able to slip the tackle on the stop for Tim Pinogas with number 45, Rylan Schwenke. And that'll bring up third and long once again for Maple Mountain. Third down and eight for Maple Mountain. Trips formation to the top. One receiver near side. Hall will roll to his right. Has time, fires, and that pass is complete to Moffey. Moffey slips one tackle and is finally brought down at the 30-yard line. First and 10, Maple Mountain. Nice hook up there. K.J. Hall to Nick Moffey. Two receivers each side. First and 10, Maple Mountain inside the 30-yard line of the Timberwolves. Three minutes on a running clock. Long snap count from Hall. It'll be a read option up the middle. Hall bounces, slips one tackle, gets inside the 25-yard line, down to the 23-yard line. It'll be second down and about three for Maple Mountain. Two receivers each side. Merrill in the slot here near side. Big number 17. Bring a man in motion. And it'll be a fake jet, jet sweep. Hall keeps it. Hall has the first down for Maple Mountain. Creative play call, picks up the first down, move the chains for the Golden Eagles. Uh, inside of two minutes here, I formation, Hildebrand dotting the I. Power formation here for the Golden Eagles. And they'll give it to Hildebrand, hit the backfield, slips the tackle. Had him dead rights in the backfield. Hildebrand, the big man, able to slip it and get back to the line of scrimmage, and then so I'm gonna pick up a two on what should have been a loss of three. Probably a gain of two, second down and eight, and they're gonna stay in the I formation, almost a goal line formation. Hildebrand is a deep back. It'll be a give to Hildebrand on the right side. Gets the corner, Hildebrand the big man, dives forward. A pick up a four, maybe five on the play, marked down at around the 11 yard line, and it'll bring up third down and short. 25 seconds remaining on a running clock. Staying in the tight eye formation. Hildebrand is still the deep back. Mortensen, the wide receiver. And it'll be a give to Hildebrand on the left side. Hildebrand on top of the linebacker. He was hit just short of the first down marker. And that will be our final play of the third quarter. And it'll be fourth down and short when we come back with the fourth. Three quarters of play in the books. Tippinogos leads 13-7 over Maple Mountain. Fourth and three. An interesting formation shotgun. Two running backs flanking or to the right of Hall. Hall will keep it. The lead block from Hildebrand. And he keeps his feet and dives toward the two-yard line. It'll be first down. Pick up the fourth. And C.J. Hall almost took that to the house. And it'll be first and goal from the two for Maple Mountain. Staying in the same formation, this time to the left side. Expect Hall running to the left. Maybe counters to the right. 13 or 11.35 here in the fourth quarter. Hall going to run to his left. He has a defender, slips one. He's going to lose a couple. No, still on his feet. Still looking to the outside. And has finally brought down a loss of a couple yards there. Back to the five-yard line. Hall nearly slipped that. It'll bring up second down and goal. Second and goal from the five. Mortensen, the lone receiver on the field. And CJ will keep it here and jumps over the line of scrimmage and is going to be short. Mark him down to the two-yard line. I pick up a three on the play for a haul. And he'll bring up third and goal for Maple Mountain. Out comes Maple Mountain in the I formation. Hildebrand dotting the I. The big fella. And it's going to be Hildebrand. Hildebrand up the gut toward the end zone. Touchdown, Maple Mountain. C.J. Hildebrand going Mike Allstott style into the end zone, up the gut. And Maple Mountain ties this up. Point after will be coming up. 9.54 remaining in the fourth quarter. 
We're tied at 13. First and 10, Timberwolves looking to answer the score from Maple Mountain. 9.46 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Bramall counters, comes near side. He's got some room to run across the 30. A flag comes in very, very late. Could be a holding penalty against Timpanogos. We'll have to sort it out. It was a holding penalty against Timpanogos. Be first down and 20. Bram all the throw. Fires to the swing. It's complete. And Stoffel out to the 20 yard line. A pickup of five will bring up second down and 15. Second down and 15. Bram all the throw. Fires right. And it's complete to Rivers. And Rivers will have a gain of about three yards on the reception. Pardon me, another five. Third down and 12 for Timpanogos. 9-0-1 remaining in the fourth quarter. Rivers in the slot here near side with Esteban on the outside. Back to throw. Bremel flushed from the pocket. Fires out to his right. Complete to Beck. Beck is down at the 45-yard line. First and 10. Timpanogos. Nice job by Bramall. A keep of the play alive. Rolls to his right. Finds an open Beck for the first down. First and 10. Timberwolves at the 45-yard line. And it'll be a give to Schroepel. Schroepel looking for the edge. Gets a nice block at midfield. And then tripped up by his own lineman. He used to put him right into the defensive back. And has dropped at the 45. Should be a first down. He's right at the mark. First and 10, Timberwolves. First and 10 at the 45-yard line of the Golden Eagles. And it'll be a give to Schroepel. Slips a tackle to the 30-yard line. Down to the 26. C.J. Schroepel. We mess with the top. He's stepping in for Jacob Hugard, who got hurt, who was filling in for Max Hill. Schroepel having a terrific game. Down to the 36-yard line. First and 10, T-Wolves. First down and 10. Give to Dickerson. Dickerson is... Stood up and brought down, almost pulled away. It'd be a pick up a three on the first down carry. And they'll bring up second down and seven. Second down and seven after the carry from Dickerson. Schroffel in the backfield with Bramall. And it'll be a give to Schroffel. Schroffel slips the tackle, gets toward the 10, dives down to the seven yard line, maybe the eight. First and 10, Timberwolves. What a find at running back in Schroffel. Tim and Ogus just keeps adding running backs this season. First and goal, T-Wolves. Second and goal, Esteban, the near side receiver. Rivers in the slot. Play action pass, or pardon me, read option. Maybe a little miscommunication. Bramall keeps it. It'll be third and goal for Tim and Ogus. Third and goal, Beck near side. Rivers and Esteban to the top of the screen. Schroepel the deep back. Back to pass Bremel. He's got time. Fires to Beck. In and out of his hands. Beck had it. It would have been a touchdown. And wasn't able to hang on. And opening up fourth and goal. And decision time for Timpanogos. 5.57 remaining in the fourth. On for the 25-yard field goal and the lead. Snap down. Kick on the way. And it is no good. Wide to the left. Beck unable to put it through. And Maple Mountain will take over after the missed field goal. 5.52 remaining. 14-13 the lead. Maple Mountain. K.J. Hall and Maple Mountain looking to ice this thing away. 5.52 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Hall will keep it. And Hall will just get past the line of scrimmage. Picks up maybe two on the carry. And it'll bring up second down and eight. Third down and 12 for Maple Mountain. Hildebrand the deep back along with K.J. Hall. Two receivers near side, one split far. Minor in motion. Fake the jet sweep. Keep it with Hall. And Hall's brought down a gain of about four on the carry. And it'll bring up fourth down and the clock will run. Tippinogos will get it back. Clausen's got into a bunch of kicks tonight. Looked very good. Waiting at about the 38-yard line is Church. 3.45 on a running clock. Snap is low. 
taken by Clausen. Gets a high kick away. Be taken by Church at the 45 on the run. Church across midfield. A Church across the 45. Able to break one tackle. And the ball came out and picked up by Maple Mountain. At least it looked like Maple Mountain had it, and they do. Church took it on the run, slipped a couple of tackles. Instead of just going down, fought for the extra yards. Ball came popped out. Maple Mountain jumps on it. First and 10, Golden Eagles. What a break. Third down and 12 for Maple Mountain. Mortensen near side receiver in motion across the formation. Rolling to his left is Hall. Fires, got a man there, too tall. He complete, and maybe more importantly for Timpanogos, it stops the clock. 2.34 remaining on the clock with the punting unit coming back on. Church is going back deep for Timpanogos, looking to atone for his turnover. Out comes Timpanogos, 2.27 remaining. A full complement of timeouts. They just need a field goal to win. Two receivers to each side. And it's going to be a read option. Bramall slips one tackle, slips another. Is hit from behind around the 30-yard line. And it'll bring up second down and about six. Third down, 11. Back to pass, Bramall. He's got time, gets drilled as he throws. Got back there, goes up and cannot make the catch. Nice defense. K.J. Hall comes over and makes a nice play on the ball and on the coverage also is Nick Shaw. Here we go, fourth down and 11 for Timpanogos. 134 on the clock, they just used a timeout. So they have two timeouts remaining. Rivers and Esteban near side, back to the top of the screen. Back to pass, Bramall. Fires to the outside, has Beck, goes up and makes the catch. No, incomplete, in and out of his hands. Beck did not hang on to it. And it's a turnover on downs for Timpanogos. The fans leaped in euphoria in and out of the hands of Beck, the sure-handed receiver. Turnover on downs, Maple Mountain ball. After the turnover on downs, expect four plays from Maple Mountain coming out in the power eye formation. Hildebrand dotting the eye formation. And it's a give to Hildebrand. Hildebrand still on his feet and is down to the 20-yard line. And they'll bring up second down and short. Tippinogas held on to their timeout. 25 pl second play clock here in high school football. Inside of a minute, 55 seconds on a running clock. Hall waiting for the back judge to give him the count. There he goes. And the give is to Hildebrand. Hildebrand bounces out of the pile, comes near side, tripped up from behind. He is near the first down marker. Timeout taken by Tippinogas. 43 seconds remaining. It'll be third down and one. Third down and two for Maple Mountain after the timeout. 43 seconds remaining. Moffey now the deep back in for Hildebrand. Interesting move on the short yardage position here. The big bruising back in Hildebrand. Hall will give to Moffey in the backfield. He stood up and dropped. A big, big, big loss there. Timeout taken by Tippinogos. 37, maybe 38 seconds remaining. And a big loss there, fourth and long, coming up for Maple Mountain. Back comes Maple Mountain. Fourth down and 10. Hildebrand now back in the backfield, dotting the I formation. First down ends this thing. Hall. Play action. Pressure comes. Rolls to his right. He's going to take off and is caught from behind by, Bre by Beck. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Going back to Tippinogos. 33 Tippinogos seconds remaining in this game. Tippinogos, Tippinogos will have one shot left. No timeouts. 33 seconds remaining in the game. Third down and 10. Beck, the far side receiver. Rivers in the slot. Near side, Esteban. Back to pass. Bramel. Got time, fires, balls tipped, and intercepted! That'll do it! Maple Mountain comes into Timpanogos and will walk away with the win. What a defensive play. The interception from number 66. That is Tyler Boyer on the tip. And the interception for Maple Mountain. They will win this game. They'll come out, take a knee. What a game here at Timpanogos. 
Out comes Maple Mountain, a victory formation. Hall will take a knee and that'll do it. Our final score, Maple Mountain 14, Timpanogos 13. We'll step aside and we'll have our post-game wrap-up right after this break. And welcome back to Tippinogas High School. Again, our final score, the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles 14, the Tippinogas Timberwolves 13, and a terrific region game tonight and a big win for Maple Mountain and a tough, tough loss for Tippinogas, a game that came down really to an extra point, a missed extra point in the uh, second quarter and really becomes a difference. We talk about it every week. Those kicks that are missed loom large. Well, when you look at Maple Mountain, a tough night of offense. The Tippinogas defense has got to feel good for what it did. K.J. Hall, a high-powered offense and a terrific job that he's done all year long throwing the ball and running the ball and had a tough night tonight. Did have a touchdown in the first quarter, but it came down to Hillebrand, that is C.J. Hildebrand, who had an inter interception earlier in the game and punched it in what turned out to be the game-winning touchdown uh, for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles in a big 14-13 win. Our player of the game is going to be C.J. Hildebrand. It could have been a number of guys for Maple Mountain, but he did have the interception early on in the game, had the game-winning touchdown, and some nice defensive plays turned in as well. When you look at both these teams in the 4A playoffs, it'll be very interesting. Both Stingy defenses with teams who are balanced on the offensive end for K.J. Hall and the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Going to have to find some more options on offense. Hildebrand did a nice job of coming in and spilling him in the running game. But when you look at Tippinogas, so much offense out there, and they keep just churning out running backs. We'll see who's able to stay healthy as they move into the 4A playoffs. And again, our player of the game, C.J. Hildebrand. And our final score, the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles, 14. The Tippinogas Timberwolves, 13 for Tino Psyche. I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us on High School Rewind, only on Xfinity On Demand.